it's no surprise that the liberal government has some sort of stronghold on the majority of mainstream media or all mainstream media here in Canada. But to what extent? How far does it go? What is the majority or what are the majority of Canadians that watch television or get their news from mainstream media not being told or exposed to? Is the truth being hidden? These are all very valid questions. And the answer to pretty much everything is, yeah, the mainstream media is lying. They're hiding things. And I'm going to show you right now two very good examples of Trudeau recently, like within the past week, being completely heckled. And it's quite embarrassing, if I'm being totally honest, where Trudeau doesn't seem to have any sort of embarrassment. He just waves and smiles and thinks that the heckling is somehow good for him, that, hey, maybe that guy, that one person can vote for me and I'll have potentially one extra vote. Well, that's never the case. And so we're going to take a look at the facts, the hard truth, and the reality of what's happening here in Canada. Welcome back to another video, everybody. Before we get into it, I encourage you to give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps grow the channel as well as I'd like to tell you that if you don't have time for all of the longer form videos that I post on this channel, then down in the description or the pinned comment below, I have my second channel called Mr. Sunshine Baby Clips. And I post much shorter versions of the this channel's content on that channel. So I turn 20 minutes into, you know, a few minutes here and there, and it's all titled appropriately so that you don't have to skip a beat. So the link for that is down in the description as well as the pinned comment below, as well as, you know, I got to plug the merch. If you want a matching hat, tis the season right now. There's no time better. Link for this is down in the description below. This is the hat I'm currently wearing, the Canadian Freedom Baseball hat. I have it in white. A lot of people are loving this one right here, the denim hat, as well as myself and my wife's uh, favorite hoodie is the Canadian Freedom hoodie that I have in maroon. I've told you many times that she loves to steal it, especially now that the weather is calming down and we're getting out of summer and shifting into colder seasons. So the merch, uh, you know where to find it, link down in the description below. All right, so let's take a look at Google searching Trudeau being heckled. You get February 25, 2023. At least you got this year. You got a YouTube video from True North, January 9th, 2023, okay? Okay, we're going backwards a little bit. You got February 24th, 2023, March 24th, 2022. Uh-oh, 2021. Okay, you got one month ago. Good job, CTV. Uh-oh, 2021. And that seems to be it. So it's almost as if the media wants you to think that Trudeau doesn't get heckled, that that's not at all what happens, but it's a weekly occurrence. And to prove that to you, I have this video right here from Chris Dacey on Twitter from August 30th. And we're going to show a different one from August 29th or 28th of Trudeau getting heckled. So here's Trudeau trying to get to his office. For all the dead Canadians because of your lies and corruption. You're a liar, you're corrupt, you need to resign, you're a failure, everybody knows it, no one trusts you, and there are millions of Canadians who've had their lives destroyed because of your lies and corruption. We want justice, we want justice for the dead, we want justice for all those dead Canadians because of your policies, your lies, the lies and corruption that keep us in permanent war. You've got to stop the war machine, you're a degenerate, war criminal, war criminal, degenerate, war criminal, stop the war machine. You got the F. Trudeau flag as a cape. Stop the lies! Stop the corruption! Stop the lies! COVID lies! War lies! We want an end to your corruption! We want an end to your lies! You're responsible! You're guilty! You have blood on your hands! Your bloody fingerprints are all over the war machine! You're immoral! You're irrational! It's got to stop! We've got to stop you! Your lies! Your corruption! It's got to stop! Stop the corruption! Stop the war machine! Stop your lies! You're a liar! You're a failure! You're a disgrace! You can't show your face in public! You're a killer! You've got to be stopped! You're immoral! You're irrational! The great unwashed see through your sophistry! That's how useless you are! Holy crap, Chris Daisy! That was one hell of a speech! 
That was, you didn't skip a beat. No ums and ahs. Fantastic. If you don't follow Chris Stacy on Twitter, you absolutely should because he's out on the ground showing people getting heckled and as well as heckling Justin Trudeau himself. You have another clip from what appears to be the same day. Stopped war machine. Justin Trudeau gets heckled entering his office and nearly falls down the steps waving at his adoring fans. The crowd grew after he entered the PMO. When it was time to leave, uh, he had RCMP create a distraction so he could sneak out the back door. Why not just go and talk to the people, right? Why not just be a politician and say, hey, okay, so there's a lot of angry people here. Let's go and talk to one person. Do what you got to do with your security detail. But just the, the gaslighting and the weaving and the smiling and acting as if you're not being heckled in public is just delusional. And it, it doesn't end. There's so many different angles. There's so many different occurrences that this happens. This is from Karima on Twitter where she got the footage from Chris Stacy. This is another angle of the same heckling. Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her go. She's chasing people now. Look at this. Look at this. Fuck you, Trudeau. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. Yeah. That car will run you over. <laughs> I would not get in front of that suburban. Crazy woman. As Ottawa police do nothing. It's just so bizarre to me. Not the fact that he's getting heckled. I totally am on board with people expressing their democratic right, freedom of expression, freedom to assemble, and freedom to heckle, especially politicians that I guess there would be a very, very valid, close case shut argument for being, yeah, it's he, he deserves this type of treatment. What I don't like is not from the people assembling and heckling, it's from the person that's being heckled, where they just seem so distant from reality, so delusional that they can't even acknowledge and give people the, you know, the validation of, oh, I'm being heckled. Let's go talk to them. You're a Canadian. I'm the leader of the country. What seems to be the issue? Not doing it every time, but at least from time to time, you have time to post with selfies and talk to people on the streets that support you. Why don't you have the time to talk to the people that don't to talk to the haters? Maybe you can, you know, convert somebody. I don't know. I think it's very unlikely and improbable for that to happen, but why not give an effort? Well, the reason is this, he sits up on a throne. Justin Trudeau thinks that he's invincible, thinks that he could do whatever he wants, say whatever he wants, act however he wants, and still get the votes, still win the, you know, the, um, uh, the general public over for elections and still remain in power. And, and I'm going to use some liberal words here. The reality is that's just not the case. People are seeing through it. They're seeing through it. And it doesn't matter how much the mainstream media lies and manipulates a story to show you one narrative. We have YouTube videos, we have social media, we have people sharing this content online on digital town squares that's just debunking everything. Like this story here. This is CTV covering Justin Trudeau at a pride, he kind of crashed a pride event or pride rally just recently, just within the past week. Let's look at CTV's footage and then let's look at a clip from social media and you tell me if there's anything different. Justin Trudeau making an appearance at Edmonton's Pride Parade today where he gave an impassioned speech in support of the queer community. There is no freedom more fundamental than the freedom to be who you are and love whom you love. And unfortunately, we need to keep stepping up 
uh, reminding people of that. Trudeau took to the stage to celebrate the day and voice his government's support for the LGBTQ2S plus community. He also acknowledged the rise of anti-trans and anti-queer hate in Canada and, poli and criticized politicians who use the community for political gain. So my analysis of that is nothing was wrong. Trudeau had a very bountiful and successful event in attendance at the pride parade. And then when you look at this video from social media saying the moment Trudeau responded to the hater in the crowd by wishing him happy pride, it just shows that they, they didn't want to include this in mainstream media. So pay attention because there actually is a heckler. To continue. Same background, right? The tie dye digital screen Edmonton. It's the same exact stage. It's the same exact event, different angle, something that the mainstream media chose to leave out to be there to protect and stand up for everyone's rights and that's exactly what we will always do thank you for coming out to a pride celebration sir thank you for being here but you are surrounded with love you are surrounded with appreciation thank you sir Thank you to everyone who's out today. Merci Edmonton. Happy Pride! To continue to be... So it's kind of weird that you see two different variations of the story, but it's the exact same timeline why would the mainstream media leave that out in fact this actually kind of works in trudeau's benefit not that i'm rooting for him at all but he actually handled the heckler half decently saying wishing him a happy pride and blah 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 which still doubles down and commits to his narrative where he didn't overreact in the sense that we now have crazy good sound bites to use in you know viral youtube videos which is what i'm kind of hoping for i kind of hope that he freaks out because it'd make for a great video and great content i'd be lying if i said anything otherwise but it's just weird that you see the mainstream media hiding and suppressing facts real things that happen why are they doing that what's the reason is there something bigger at play i don't know I don't have those answers, but those are great questions to start asking. And we have a great community down in the comments. And I'm sure a lot of people down in the comments would enjoy engaging in that type of conversation. This is where we're going to end the video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. I'd like to encourage you to give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope I earned your post notifications by now. It's a little bell icon that shows up after you've hit subs the, you know, the subscribe button. And as well, reiterate that the merch link is down in the description. And if you don't have time for these full length videos, although this one, albeit this one's a little bit shorter than most, then you can feel free to hit the link uh, down in the description or the pinned comment below for my clips channel. I'd really appreciate your subscription there as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. If you want to support the channel financially, you can do so by checking out the merch shop linked right up there. Or if you want to do something for free, which is also absolutely acceptable and highly encouraged, you can subscribe right there. If you want to continue watching videos like this, you can do so by clicking or tapping right there to watch the next upcoming video. And if you want to watch a little bit of different content, but also Canadian stuff, you can do so by clicking right up there. That's my second channel, House of Canada, also known as the House of Commons Highlights. Thank Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.